Hey folks, how's it going? This is Iron Seagull here, and welcome back to my series where I talk about how I'd refresh each and every expansion pack for The Sims 4. Can't believe we're almost done this series, at least for a while, before more expansion packs come out, because we just got Snowy Escape and then Cottage Living next week. Even though I've had fun with Snowy Escape, I think it is overall one of the weaker expansion packs for the game. Though at least out of the world-based packs, like it's not as good as City Living, but I think it is better than Island Living. Unlike with Island Living though, I couldn't really think of much to begin with, but then all of a sudden more and more ideas came to me and it's like, whoa, okay, this list of ideas is getting much longer than I expected. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Of course there are improvements that I think could be made, especially to rock climbing, but I'm gonna start off with something a little different. So, that dang train in the trailer! <laughs> I had a feeling that it was not a train we could actually see our Sims board, since we don't really see it happen. It's just kind of staged to look like as if it's a functional train station. But a refresh would be their chance to make things right. <laughs> Even if our Sims could just go onto the platform and then they'd walk towards the train and then we'd hit the loading screen. At least that would be something, and I think that'd be so cool for storytelling. It would help us also feel more immersed in the lifestyle of Mount Komorebi, where you take this train around to go to the different towns as well as Yukimatsu. There even is that train up there too that you might have spotted, even though it's a little out of the way. Maybe you could even use it as an option to just like click on the train station to go to work instead of your sims just disappearing off the lot. But now let's talk about the winter sports. So the first thing I thought of was adding another career. Because when you hit level 10 of the skiing skill, you can actually be a ski instructor but it's just a little rabbit hole thing where you don't actually see anything going on. But I think it would be really fun if our sims could become skiing or snowboarding instructors and actually go to the hills in Yukimatsu to give those lessons and watch sims fall over and all that stuff. <laughs> I think that would be a really fun sort of like active career. It would also work as a great contrast to the salary person career which is more rabbit hole than a lot of other careers that we've gotten more recently. In previous sims games we had the snowboarding halfpipe as our sort of way to have sims snowboard and I miss this even though I do enjoy having the sims go down the slopes and it made more sense basing an expansion pack around that than just a half pipe we should still get the half pipe back because it's a good way for our sims to get practice and we can place that in any world that we want instead of just having to go to Yukimatsu each and every time we want our sims to go skiing or snowboarding. When your sims max out the snowboarding skill, you can have them record snowboarding POV videos as they go down the slopes and then upload them to the computer later for extra money. But I think just as an extra toggle, it could be kind of neat if the sims would automatically go into first person camera mode if you're playing as them while they're recording. But yeah, I do want that to be an option, especially for those who have motion sickness so that they can opt out of that still. But I just thought that would be a nice touch because I think a lot of people forget that they added first person camera by hitting shift tab a few years ago. And I think it would be a pretty creative way of actually putting that to use. Also, just as a minor thing, it baffles me that we cannot display our skis and snowboards on the wall because there's even ones that we can unlock at the different skill levels that have these different designs. So yeah, you can display them on the floor if you want, but it doesn't really make as much sense that way in my opinion. So yeah, that would be awesome if we could hang them on the wall and have them be as cluttered too when our sims are not on the slopes. I have one last idea for skiing and snowboarding. I'm pretty sure this one will never happen, but I can't resist indulging myself in this one because my favorite EA game besides The Sims is SSX. <laughs> if you grew up in the early 2000s with the PlayStation 2 especially, you've probably heard of this series where it is a very sort of like wacky, arcadey snowboarding game with these really over the top courses and characters that honestly would fit really well into The Sims. Actually, the sim that you're seeing right now is my remake of Griff Simmons in the last SSX game that came out in 2012. So maybe we could have an even better reward for maxing out in snowboarding or skiing skills because the slopes we have right now 
In terms of length, yeah, there's realistic, but The Sims does have its wacky side, just like SSX. So I'd love to have a course that's a bit lengthier, not as long as an actual course in the SSX games, but definitely something with some more fun elements to it that you would not really see in real life, such as like weaving around buildings or jumping over trains <laughs> or going through tunnels or even having like a ridiculously long half pipe at the very end. And if your sims succeed, then they could get a confident buff where it's like, whoa, I can't believe I just tackled this uberly awesome course. And then there could also be a buff if your sims happen to have the adrenaline seeker lifestyle where they'd enjoy this secret spot even more and be like, whoa, can I just go here every single day? On top of that, perhaps adrenaline seekers could have a few SSX-like tricks, like kicking out your board in midair or twirling your board or skis around your body. Now let's move on to rock climbing. I think this is basically meant to be the end game of this expansion pack, because unlike the skiing and snowboarding slopes where you can already start right away, with the rock climbing, you can build rock climbing skill already on the easier walls, but you need to spend quite a bit of time building this up and practicing before you can actually climb to the summit of Mount Komorebi and seeing it in its full beauty. However, there isn't much reason to do it more than once unless maybe you want more sims to unlock the exclusive sentiments that you can get from mountain climbing. But I think there is more variety that they should add to it. So maybe you could choose to go down branching pathways so it's not the exact same pathway each and every time and it could be a risk versus reward where maybe some trails could be easier but there's not as many collectibles to pick up and maybe the harder path could have more collectibles but not have the bonfire and tents just laid out for you. Perhaps even as an extra hazard, there could be a yeti that attacks your sims. No, not a sim in a yeti costume. This is not outdoor tree. I mean an actual yeti. Actually, what if yetis worked like Bigfoot in The Sims 2, where through a bit of challenge, you could befriend them and have them move into your household and they'd have some maxed out skills or some extra abilities, some minor ones like being able to run faster or have a couple of funnier social interactions. I think that could be pretty neat. I don't think a yeti needs a full-on skill tree like vampires or spellcasters, but I think they would be a fun sort of bonus. But getting back to the mountain climbing itself, I think they should extend the time limit a little bit on the event because I feel rushed when I'm doing it. And I think a way of making mountain climbing more fun as it is right now is to not speedrun it, but to take things a little bit slow and perhaps build some drama between your sims as they climb the mountain. Maybe they're having some disagreements about the way that they're actually doing it. The last idea I have for rock climbing is at level 10 of the rock climbing skill, you unlock a freelance career where you become a professional mountain climber and you help other sims reach the top of Mount Komorebi for a good amount of simoleons. On the Japanese culture focused side of this expansion pack, I think there's a few additions they could make. First off is a traditional tea set. We had this in The Sims 2 Bon Voyage, and I think The Sims 4 in general could use a more traditional tea set that's not just the more modern looking brewer that we've had since day one. And to have this more traditional tea table, to go with it, I think would be really nice. I'd also love to have the martial arts skill return from The Sims 3 World Adventures. It was weird how they brought back a few of those animations in Strangerville, but it was not a skill at all. And uh, yeah, I would just much rather have the skill again where you have the fancier moves as you level up and you get more belts as well. And I think it would be a skill that would fit in pretty well in general, not just in Mount Komorebi. I also wish they would add more animation to Sims taking on and off their shoes if you've set that house rule. I do have a mod by Sepsid that adds an animation. It's not the most polished one in my opinion, but I still prefer it over the tornado feet I've seen people call it. In my opinion, the tornado feet just looks unfinished, and even Paralyzed has an actual animation for taking off the shoes, so yeah, I think they need to step up their game here. Moving on to world improvements, I have a couple of suggestions for this because I was disappointed with the gondola in a similar way to the elevators in City Living 
where they're just glorified teleporters. So I would love to see this be changed where I don't have to see the inside of the gondola, but at least have the Sims open the door to go inside the terminal and then you have the camera follow the gondola up and then the Sim gets out at the end. Also, you could have Gondola Woohoo, because I know some people wanted that, so yeah, another Woohoo spot for this pack. I don't think many people would object to that. And I think they need to improve the Wakaba neighborhood a bit more outside of the active lots, because when the festival is not there, it just looks so dead. <laughs> I wish maybe they could have the ski shop be an open venue, maybe like Arnie's open world mod where you can't really edit the lots because I don't know if they would be able to add more active lots on top of the current ones, but then, yeah, you could actually have your sims be able to go inside and buy some skis and snowboards before they go up the mountain. For the free updates, in Create a Sim, I would love to have some new face templates that would go well with trying to make a Japanese sim, because I'm really tired of the same face templates over and over again. So it would be nice to have some more. The Kotatsu tables need to be upgraded to be fully compatible with Dineout, because while you could sit at a Kotatsu table if you want, it's not compatible with the whole ordering food system in place. In addition, I want to tie this in with my Discovery University refresh video, where I proposed making Simstagram an actual feature, especially how with Snowy Escape in these trailers, they showed off this Simstagram looking thing, but it's not really a thing you can do. There's just the Simstagram interactions where you just have the Sim look at their phone and add something and that's really it. So with Snowy Escape, maybe they could add actual categories that you could browse, such as travel, or food, or fashion, or gaming, or news, or music. I think that could be fun, instead of just seeing random posts or your Sim's friends posts all the time. Heck, maybe even now that we know we're getting story progression back through neighborhood stories, they could also be a way of finding out that your sims just got married or had a baby or whatever. Alright, so that pretty much wraps up all my ideas for a Snowy Escape refresh. This ended up way more ambitious than I expected, but at the very least I would like mounted climbing to be improved so that there's branching pathways so it's not the same thing each and every time, and also being able to become a professional mountain climber, I think that'd be a cool way of incentivizing us to use that more. We don't need like an SSX inspired course, but maybe we could at least have like one of the older SSX games playable on the computer and on the video game console if you have City Living. <laughs> and I think the martial arts skill would be a fairly easy add since they already have some of the animations in The Sims 4. And of course, making that train more functional, that's pretty important to me too. But feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. How would you like to see Snowy Escape improved? And be sure to subscribe if you'd like to keep up with my latest gaming content, including life simulations and more. So I will talk to you all later, and have a great day! Thanks for watching!